guess what time it is, boys and girls. It's time for another thrill-packed episode of Clowns with Kevin, starring Mr. Baggy Britches. All right, guys, you might want to plug your ears for a minute because I'm about to say the most horrifying combination of words known to man. I'm literally a horror writer that's written hundreds of short horror stories, and I can't think of anything more scarifying than this. Clint Howard clown mask. You know, it doesn't get any more terrifying than that. There's nothing worse that you can say than that. But anyways, this is a really, really awesome mask from Trick or Treat Studios. It's from, I'm sorry to say, a kind of lackluster movie. I love, like, almost all of Rob Zombie's uh, horror films, like, you know, I even like The Lords of Salem and 31 and Halloween 2 and all that stuff, but, you know, 3 from Hell kind of sucked, you know, it was, I, I want the hour and 45 minutes of my life back that I spent watching that thing, and it's hard for me to say that because, like I said, I love Rob Zombie, and I try not to be critical of people's work, but I don't know. I, I, I'm going to watch it again soon to try to give it another try. Maybe I was just in a bad mood or something when I saw it, but I didn't like the movie at all. But how cool is this mask? This guy is phenomenal. It was sculpted by Connor Derles. Derles? I think it's Derles. How you say his name? The guy's a really, really great sculptor. I'm really interested in getting more of his masks. This is my first mask that I've gotten by him. He sculpted Otis for Tots and a couple of the, I think he did the original Leatherface and Grandpa, which I haven't gotten around to getting, especially the killing Leatherface is like really expensive, but I do want to get one of those. But this is a great, great mask. I did insert some plastic eyes into him. He just has like blank eyes like most of uh, Connor's masks do, but uh, I don't know. I think it gives it more personality. He totally looks like Clint Howard in clown makeup, you know. It's really, really convincing looking and scary, you know. I've got Clint Howard's head sitting on a shelf staring at me. That's like nightmare fuel. But look at this thing. He's got these great looking teeth and a sculpted on mustache and the nose looks really great and the clown makeup's really awesome and effective looking. I love the you know, stimpled or whatever it's called, paint work on his face that really looks like some guy's skin with makeup on it. And the hair works really nice on the mutton chops. He's got cool punched in hair around his clown wig thing. There's like skin tone underneath. This is a really, really phenomenal mask. I got him for like, uh, I think it was like $50 on eBay. So if you look around, you can probably find one for like 50 or $55. So if you're a clown fan and you love Clint Howard, like most people that love genre movies, you know, they like Clint Howard. You know, he's the boy who predicted earthquakes for God's sake. So I really, really like Clint Howard and having a clown version of him is like a must have for me. I'm giving this mask two huge thumbs up. Trick or Treat Studios killed it on this one. It's like one of my favorite clown masks. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know I have like a ton of clown masks. So go out and get yourself a Mr. Baggy Britches.